it's Lucy and Jeff going for walks and talks, talk about banksters and Bitcoin and the apocalypse and stuff. It's Lucy and Jeff and tacos and kisses. How you doing today, Lucy? Oh, pretty good, just going for my walk. And you gonna comply, Lucy? Comply with who? Well, basically the government. I don't, I don't care about the government. They come around here, they better get their ankle cards on. Ankles. And the only thing I comply with is two things, tacos and crushes. Anyone tries to make me comply with anything else, they can go pound tacos. And they better get their ankle cards on. That's the only thing I comply with too, Lucy. Tacos and crushes. <laughs> Got tons of stuff to talk about today and about how People are complying with their own slavery. And I know a lot of people are like, well, what, what am I supposed to do, right? Yeah, it's tricky. It's tricky when we've got an entire world of all these criminal organizations called governments, and they're constantly trying to force you to do stuff. And it really, because, you know, like, let's say you have a government and they they uh, put in some, like, like maybe a, a minor tax on tea. They have no income taxes, no nothing. They just have one small tax they want to do. And it's like 2% on the price of tea. Is that enough for you to not comply and to kill all the government people? Well, it was for people in the U.S. a few hundred years ago. And that was totally awesome, and people still talk about it, called the American Revolution, because that's all that really happened. There, there's like no taxes, no, no income tax, no capital gains, forget it, no taxes, nothing. And then King George is like, I think it was King, one of those bastards, was like, yeah, we need to, you know, steal something from these guys. Let's do like a 2% tax on tea. And this happened. And who knows if that even really happened? I don't trust anything anymore, anything. <laughs> and for good reason, everything I ever look into turns out to be a total lie. But yeah, the question is like, how far are, do you get pushed, right? Because you also want to be smart or even pragmatic, right? Like if there's a guy on your block and he's like, he wants like $10 a month for, you, for him not to bother you and he's, you know, he's just a dick. And let's say you make $10,000 a month, you might be like, ah, I'll just give them 10 bucks a month. Just, it's like a nuisance, it's like nothing. But you know, now we live in a world where, if you live in the US, I don't know how many taxes there are. Has anyone ever looked them up? And laws and regulations, and you can't do anything. You wanna fish, you better ask for permission. You better pay somebody. So you have people who are like, almost completely enslaved at this point in places like the US. And they're, they're still like, well, I still live in the land of the free. <laughs> like they're all brainwashed, but they still don't even fight back. But it's, you know, really what point do you do something? And I think the real answer isn't something like a revolution type thing. I think the real answer is for everyone just to do, just to like ignore and avoid anything like that completely. And if enough people did that, it would just go away. And, you know, start up their own little, you know, take care of your areas, your neighborhood and stuff like that, right? Like make connections there. And that's one of the big things they've done over the last few decades is really do everything to take it away from people to even get involved in their community, to, to even know their neighbors, like in the US. It, like they've done it to, to the point in the US that so many people, like, have lived beside someone for like 20 years, don't even know his name. Like, that's, that's crazy. Your next door neighbor, you've lived there eight and a half years. You've never said one fucking word to that guy. <laughs> you avert eye contact should you check the mail at the same time. <laughs> and another big thing is not worrying about what's going on in the world. I actually just wrote about this in our most recent newsletter. It just went out like yesterday or the day before by the time you see this video. And I talked about just ignore basically everything that's going on in the world because, 
you know, there's that saying, I even included it in the newsletter about, I forget what it said, but it's, it's a sort of a prayer. Give me the strength to, I forget what it says. It's on screen, read it for yourselves. I'll give you a few seconds here. <laughs> Just go ahead and read it for yourself because I forget exactly how it was worded. But that's basically true. And the more that you just focus on yourself and change the things that you personally can change, and that's like getting involved in your area, growing your own food, unschooling your kids, uh, not paying taxes, <laughs> stuff like that, right? Uh, when, if enough people do those sort of things, the rest of it all kind of handles itself. But you can get kind of lost in like seeing all this crap going on in the world and, and like getting so almost like paralyzed by like, how am I going to change that? Like, don't like actually the key is changing yourself. And I'll get into that maybe near the end of this video, because it's actually quite almost magical how it works. Actually, I would say it's magical, but talking about how not to comply right with your own slavery. That's really a big part of it is just don't like, I just don't. Like whenever they, I think they just passed a law today in Mexico, by the way, I just saw this, that uh, vapes are illegal. So I'll be turning this in right away. <laughs> no, I won't. I never comply. I don't care what they say. And so that's a big part of it. But even bigger is doing the work on yourself. I'm still trying to understand how it all works. Like you hear a lot about how the world is a projection of your own, uh, basically your own darkness. Uh, your own issues but how it actually works is very it's it's hard to get your head around but it actually does work so really like it, if you're asking like what should i do jeff you know what crypto should i buy forget about that it doesn't matter that stuff doesn't matter <laughs> that's basically what i do but it doesn't matter just work on yourself like every day darkness doesn't have an energy of its own it must have an absence of light to win. Stop battling the dark and turn on your light. Yeah, I think that's really the answer. So if you're asking me like, what should, what should you do? Work on yourself every day, as much as you can. You'll be amazed how things change. Like I'm personally amazed at how much my life has changed in the last year or so, since I've really gone deep on the meditation and stuff. Like. I did some stuff today that would have like almost killed me a year ago. Just be like, you know, I was in traffic doing some stuff. I had to go early. I had to actually cut my meditation a bit short to go do something. And uh, in the old days, it'd just be like so frustrating and stressed. And I just had the best time. <laughs> and it's because I've gotten a lot of the things out of my head that were causing me to be all depressed and anxious or angry or whatever it was. And so just do that work. And if you don't even know where to start, just look into things like meditation or psychedelics, actually. Uh, I think a lot of people probably need psychedelics to bust them out, because if you haven't done any of this work, it's really hard. And you almost need to like go like into the Amazon and do it <laughs> to get started. Not that I'm recommending that to everybody, but it probably would be a good idea for most people. Anyway, what do you think about that, Lucy? Oh yeah, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I just, you know, I work on myself all the time. I'm just basically meditating most of the day. Look, I'm meditating right now. Just breathe, breathe. I'm not thinking about anything. But if I do think about anything, it's tacos. And I just enjoy every taco. And then I give lots of curses and everything just works out fine.